We need to work in concert with one another in order to investigate what happened and provide our constituents across the county with some answers so that this doesn't happen again. And then one of the things that I, I think this is relevant towards is something that's already done in the school system, which is, and quite honestly, Mr. Foley and Mr. Presley do this very well, which is um, <clears throat> in the school system, we call them PLCs, where um, professional learning communities, where in a public forum um, in our group, we communicate and look at the data and see how well it worked and what didn't work and what can be done better. It's not accusatory, it's not aggressive, it's not um, in any type of a negative sense. Uh, and I know that Mr. Presley um, has done this in not only at this dais, but also at uh, committee meetings, has done sort of a, this is what we did, quite honestly, this was not done well, this is how we're going to fix it type thing. So it's in line with the best practices, um, and it's in line with what we do on this side of the street. So I, 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 for me, I'm looking at that, that type of aspect of how can we make things better. Ms. Bonke. So uh, I think this should be relatively um, easy. Um, I, you you kind of refer to it as an investigation, which I'm hoping that it doesn't really have to be an investigation, and maybe it's just a report that the school board gives back to us. Because, you know, with Dr. Kisner and now with um, Dr. Jones as the interim, you know, this. I, I'm sure they can probably come up to the podium and tell us exactly what happened, and it was kind of a perfect storm. That's just my opinion. Um, you know, I mean, I mean, I have some thoughts that you know maybe we didn't let Barry Suddeth leave in May, and maybe we kept him over till September or October to make th sure things were running really smooth. I, I mean, I think there were a number of factors, and I'm sure they know what all those factors are. Um, so hopefully, it's just kind of a simple report and you know, that can be a report out to the community. When I hear the word investigation, that kind of has a negative intonation to me. And, you know, the schools are our largest, largest partner agency. And so while I'm, none of us, and I'm sure nobody in the community is happy with what happened with the school buses, but I would rather like to call it maybe, you know, a, a full, um, transparency report or something else, but we do need to have answers for the community on what went wrong. Madam Chair, if I may. Go ahead. I mean, the way we do it on our side is we have an after actions review. We sit down with everybody involved and we say, just like Mr. Uh, Mr. Cohen said, what went right, what went wrong, how can we make it so the things that went wrong don't happen again in the future, and we map it out. If, if need be, we also have exercises that follow up with that. Generally, these are very common. We're, we're, we're having one uh, next week about the storm that went through and how we responded to that storm, the, the straight line wind storms, that we had all the damage down in the southern part of the county. There are things that went great. There are things that could have gone a lot better, and we're going to sit down and we're going to map all those out and say, how can we do those better? I am... I haven't had this conversation with Dr. Jones, but I can guarantee you they're doing something very similar with respect to this matter. I mean, it's, it's standard practice, and I'm sure that they can come back to us and say, this is what went wrong, and this is what we're doing to correct it. And that's why I think we haven't heard back from them about drivers. I think they have a plan in place, and they're working that plan. And if it doesn't, I mean, I have a daughter in high school. I've absolutely seen improvements in the time and, and the bus pickups and drop-offs and all that stuff at least with Stafford High School with my, with my daughter's bus, I've absolutely seen the improvements. Day, week one was, was horrible. We ended up driving and picking up almost every day. And it's just, that was the only way that she was gonna make it to class on time. That's not the case right now. So I know things have been done to improve, um, but I can't speak to the specifics. So my last comment, even though I said the other one was my last. Yeah, um, we're used to it. I know, is that we could have had major injuries that week, okay? Maybe fatalities because of young kids standing out waiting for so long, being dehydrated. It was this public safety issue. When I watched the school board that night, I thought, oh my gosh, we're in a state of emergency. And um, I guess my, my biggest concern is somebody did not communicate that information back up to uh, the number one, two, or three heads and to the school board and let them know they were not ready for transportation. And school could have been pushed back 
for two or three weeks, and we could have prevented that issue from happening. So that's all I have. Thank you. And I think that's the crux of my point of saying we have to investigate what went wrong. And I want it I want it to involve parents and independent people that are not working at the schools. Because I can tell you I've had several messages from bus drivers who are telling me their theories of what's going on. And, and your daughter's situation may have gotten better, but I have a dozen constituents whose situations have either gotten worse or not improved. I mean, our, one of our own county employees who's sitting in the audience got a call today as we're sitting in the meeting that he had to make arrangements to pick his kid up from school um, while he's here serving the, the board in the community. So we owe it to our constituents. I would love it if we could set up maybe, you know, a joint work group or something with parents, with um, bus drivers, with people that can jointly investigate this with an independent mind frame and that it's not just the schools telling us what they think they did wrong. So um, anyway, that's, that's that. We can either make this time sensitive today or we can have it as unfinished business on the next agenda. Does anybody have a position on that. Mr. Snelling. I'm a little concerned about creating this massive committee. Um, you know, I was in the military, I've been in business all my life, and, and we did exactly what Fred does. We did an after action meeting. This is what right, went right, this is what went wrong. Um, and I think, I, I would think that the school board or uh, school administration uh, is going to do the same thing. If we want to get somebody on this board involved, I don't have a problem with that. But if you're going to bring in all these people, and I can tell you what part of the problem is, it's this. It's called Facebook. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's a scourge of the world. And I go on this thing and people, you know, you'd think the world had come to an end because somebody didn't get picked up on a bus. And I understand all of that. But the reality is, I think we need to let the experts dig into this and find out what happened to report back to the board. If we want to put somebody on that and ask the superintendent if we can have a member, I think that's fine. But the more people you get involved in this, the more convoluted it's going to get. I'll tell you that now. So that would be my recommendation. 